Sorry, pal. We're out of gas and your engine is boiling. Let's see if we can fix you up here. We'll be back on the road in no time. Stranded in the middle of nowhere. Locked. Of course. If it wasn't for the sand and rubble, the impenetrable darkness, the legions of bugs and that awful smell of gasoline everywhere, this shore could make a nice place for a picnic. Hansen's ice cream. I used to love it when I was little. I wish. It's frozen shut. No juice. My tires should still last a couple of miles. This loot box contains only some rusty pliers. How should I open the door with these rusty pliers? I wish. It's just one short circuit before everything blows up into my face. Those pliers won't help me with that. Terra Incognita Scenic Highway. Next town ahead. Long shot by the sea. Sounds promising. Tiny rock gas station. A beacon in the dark. Dad used to say... A flawless establishment needs flawless window panes. Some of these constellations seem familiar. Or do they? Hello? Anybody in there? I could really use some gas. Can you please let me in? I'm totally not a vampire, I swear. Tax investigation. Open the door.
Meals on wheels. Your order is waiting. Hello? Anybody in there? I could really use some gas. Not a chance. I need to find some gas and engine coolant first. No way! A hidden replacement key. That was too easy. As if it wanted to be found. It fits. That was almost too easy. It's pitch black. I can't even see my own hands. There's something funny about that picture. Whoops! A hidden switch. This must be the main fuse. I know this image. Daytona Beach Race 58. What an event. The landscape on that picture vaguely reminds me of... home. It's a picture of a buffalo. What I wouldn't give to be there. Extra large, no refill. This is the end of nowhere. I wonder if these postcards would ever reach their destination. This one shows a map of the area. I'll take it with me. Quite off the beaten track. Cherry pie! If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and hot coffee! 20% bun, 5% cold cuts, and 75% cling film. Thanks, but no thanks. Looks dusty. Coffee. If there's something I can't stand, it's cherry pie and... All I have left are a few Deutschmarks. Pretty useless out here anyways. Again that ghastly tune.
electrical cables. Zip. Cold as ice. Exactly what I need. It's just one short circuit before everything blows up. Now they are working again. Drink up. You must be dying of thirst. There you go. Have some Kool-Aid. Done. Finally we can make off again. Oh, come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while. sure this is the right place. When's the next bus back to the city? Beverly, I have arrived. I feel spewn out into the most barren, dark void of Europe. All things considered, this could most likely be the best vacation ever. Feeling chilled out already. Ah, yes. That's where I am. 
the next city is like a thousand miles away. The bus stop, my gateway to the outside world. Its heydays are over. Paddleboat rental. One hour, one Deutschmark. Hades. Paddleboat rental, souvenirs, fishing supplies. Closed. Trubber Brook. County of Broken Lenda, one kilometer, or 0 0.621371 miles. A hiking map of the region. The upper section has been torn off. I wonder what that is. Arrived at destination after a short walk. Trubberbrook, a tranquil little town. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. That is one strange looking cat. That's probably the town's landmark. There's a selection of local charcuterie on display. Wurstebrei, Stippgrütze, Schlagte Platte, Patöcke, Tote Oma. The Mysterious Village. Who is into this kind of stuff? The time-traveling machine. Complete nonsense from a quantum mechanical perspective. Beverly, I discovered the local movie theater, Mobius Palace. The favorite genres around here appear to be Western and Noir. This must be the place. Small ads, postings, announcements. They're holding a town fair soon. Exciting. Evening. Hey! Nobody there, huh? Doesn't seem so. Where is everyone? I saw someone here just a minute ago. Any idea? Just try again. 
Hello? I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um, there's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember taking part in any lottery myself. Yet I received this winning notification. What was the name again? Hans Tannhauser. T A N Tannhauser, Tannhauser, Elevenhauser. Oh, oh, Dr. Hans Tannhauser. Oh, yes, here we have it. <sighs> Say, is it a quiet room? Seeking some peace and quiet, uh huh. Well, I'm working on a text and I could really use some serenity. Text? Are you a kind of writer or something? Normally I work for a university. Right now I'm writing a paper on quantum physics. I've heard worse. You arrived just in time for the big anniversary celebration. Trüberbrook is a bit noisier than usual around these days. But apart from that, I'd say you have nothing to worry about in terms of disturbance. Here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My name is Trude, by the way. If you don't mind, where are all the other guests? Let's put it this way. The season in Trüberbrook is already over. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. just disappear with my paper? Something unusual happened. There was an uninvited guest in my room tonight. Now that he's escaped, I'm going to chase him down. I better not. It'll start raining in. It seems rather unpleasant outside. Creepy. Some kind of a sea monster. Must be a local myth. At least it seems the burglar didn't rummage through the cabinet. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. What a mess. What is this? Some kind of goo. Where did he go? These rods are not the only thing fishy around here. So many rooms, so few guests. I wonder what tomorrow's menu will bring. Darkest night. In the pale starlight, 
This village appears to be composed of jagged silhouettes and loneliness. Hey there. Taking a little night stroll? Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here. But if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. This situation is growing aggravating. I followed the person who stole my notes into a kind of dead-end street. And now he's vanished. Picture me, standing here at the edge of the world, stripped of my writings. I wonder who on earth would steal a paper on quantum physics. Do you like ghost stories? It is said that a proto-Germanic cult used to live up here in the mountains. They prayed to the spirits of the forests. I know it's a long shot, but maybe this visitor of yours is one of those spirits? Evil spirits? Nonsense, I was just trying to mess with you. What was your name again? Tenhauser? Name's Gretchen. I'm an anthropologist. In fact, those old proto-Germanic ritual grounds just so happen to be my special subject. One of them is supposedly somewhere around here, though I haven't been able to find it yet. Gretchen, well met. Now that's all well and good, but what am I going to do without my notes? You know what? I'm going to help you track down that burglar. It looks like he escaped with one of the old gondolas. I bet he's hiding somewhere in the mountains, which incidentally is also where I was heading. Come on, you're a scientist. You're coming with me now and you're going to help me find this ritual site. Who knows, maybe you'll even find your evil spirit there. The one with an interest in quantum whatchamacallits. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. So what do you say? You with me? I knew you had the spirit of adventure in you. Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. The early bird catches the worm and all that. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used a cable car. I reckon that's also what our friend thought. The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in pristine condition. What do you think? Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. I can't fix this. The master key is missing and a weasel damaged the electric mains. Maybe it was the burglar who did this. The plan. I'll hold the position and try my best. Why don't you take a look around town? We need the master key for the cable car. Also, we need to override the broken mains. Think you can remember that? I'll try to remember. Let's go. This is going to be fun. I have to insert a coin first. The local gondola lift's hauling cable seem to be intact, although there aren't any gondolas or mining carts attached to it. A smell of oil and soil lingers in the air. Are you okay? Do you have brain damage? It's a well-known fact that weasels have a dangerously loving affection towards all sorts of cables. The present case suggests a rather impressive specimen, judging by the thickness of the cable. Last resort, self-termination.
Danger. High voltage. This old generator is running at maximum strength. It's even sending out sparks. Hello? Anybody there? What was that? Time waits for no man, not even in Trevorbrook. I discovered a modern telecommunication system further uptown. This might be important to anybody wondering if the world is still turning at the end of the line. It seems you need a special key to get the thing running. Indeed, Mastermind. Did you already ask around town? Maybe someone there has it. Looks like it was struck by lightning the other night. Still looks in good condition, though. This bucket seems to have been hung here for purely decorative reasons. You better keep your distance. This table has a horrible wobble. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. You've got yourself a nice spot here. It's heartbreaking to see the town in decline like this. Everything's going down the drain. Just like this wobbly table. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you alright? Please don't ask. I can't even savor my cognac as long as this terrible table keeps on wobbling. There's a clothesline up there, right under my window. Look at all these beautiful people. Must be some kind of ancestral gallery. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. Can you tell me something about the old cable car? The cable car leads up to the old mine. 
It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. Who exactly is this Baron von Sulz? Baron von Sulz used to run the mine, a philanthropist and patron of the arts. His wife was a flamboyant Baroness von Sulz. You must have heard of her. Anyway, when the company took over the mine, the Baroness dropped him as well and left the Baron behind. A broken man. Now his cat is his only remaining pleasure. What about this mysterious company you were talking of? They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. They have connections to the top, if you know what I mean. Way up to the highest circles of power. What became of the people working the mine? More and more outsiders came to town. Nobody knows what they were actually doing in the mines. Some went missing, some went crazy, who can tell? At one point, they even bought the old sanitarium in order to provide housing for their workers. That was before the mine shut down, of course. What were they mining for? Do you know? An old silver mine. So nothing a um, quantum physicist would be interested in. It's been a few years, back in the days, when there was enough work for everyone. Then this company took over the mine, only to shut it down immediately. So why did they shut down the mine? There is talk and rumors all over the town. Allegedly, people started disappearing without a trace. Tourists, poor laborers without families, the odd stranger. Some folks were also talking about toxic residues in the air and the water. But nobody knows anything with certainty. If you ask me, I'm just glad the whole affair has come to an end. All those rumors have kept spa guests away for years, as you can see for yourself. Would you wrap up the whole story in detail for me again? The cable car leads up to the old mine. It used to belong to the Baron von Sülz. Then this company from overseas forced him to sell it. They are called Millennium Cooperative or something like that. A very dubious corporation. I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? This establishment you call your own has quite the charm. A family business for more than 75 years. Actually, I took over the guest house together with my brother. But now it's just me and my little daughter. So what happened to your brother? The only interest that scoundrel had was in his bottles. In the end, that good-for-nothing took a half too much of his bolts and shoes and just made off. Being the only guest, I was wondering, how's the season going so far? Season? We haven't had one in ages. Your daughter really likes watching TV, huh? You see, the kid is always in front of the box. She's got her mind set on extraterrestrials and alien worlds. Nonsense, don't you think? Anything else I can do for you? I'd like to report a theft. There was an uninvited guest in my room last night. In our house? Oh dear, I'm so very sorry. Let me call the police immediately. Thanks. I will keep you informed. Truda, would you pour me one of your Pilsner beers, please? Just a second, Professor. Here, a coaster. There you go. Cheers! Is that a maggot? It's having a good time. 
This can must have fallen off the table. A dim oil painting showing a couple of withering roses in a vase. Some of the varnish is starting to come off. How poetic. Hmm. There's something funny about that clock. They serve traditionally hearty local meals in this place. Apparently a few maggots found themselves a lovely home in there. Hey. She's almost in a trance. Please don't stand there. Excuse me, didn't mean to. What's that you're watching? Never seen a TV before? Coming up next, a new episode of Rocket Ship Andromeda. Uh... Have you been living under a rock? With a TV set, you can take journeys to other worlds. Now that I think of it, I have never seen you here before. Are you from another world as well? Depends on how you look at it. My name is Hans. I just arrived from Berlin. Hey Hans, I'm Leni. My mom owns the place. 70,000 light years from home, the rocket ship has stranded in star system Omega-3. Is Berlin also in star system Omega-3? Berlin is located right in the middle of Brandenburg. So it is worlds apart. Brandenburg? Never heard of it. Star Cybernetation Commander Aurora is searching for a way back home. And what do you do for a living? Are you a famous cybernetician too? I'm a quantum physicist. Quantum what? Anyways, I'm going to be a star cybernetician. Only Commander Aurora can disintegrate the even Rulans into thin air with her space beams. So, do you Bellinellians have any special powers? Can you make things disappear? If you're referring to my bank deposit. You're saying a lot of silly things. Stay tuned, folks. We will be right back after a few consumer-oriented product endorsements. My uncle knew how to make things disappear as well. I also know where, but I mustn't tell anyone on Earth. Well, after all, I'm not originally from Earth. I'm a Berlin alien, remember? Right. But then, how can you prove you're not an Earthling? I'll think of something. Locked. Fresh air is still the preferable way to dry your laundry. The antenna provides TV reception for the guest house.
Maybe somebody hid their money in there. There's something lying on the floor. It's a massage rod. Somebody must have misplaced it. Supplemental. I'm afraid the condition of my room is far below expected. I don't want to mess up the crime scene. Hanging dead animals on your wall is a bit eccentric. Just a hanger. Empty. Before you even know, the world lies in ruins. I hope this isn't a bad omen. They don't seem to have many bookings. All the keys are still there. Look, this is the star log I'm using to stay in contact with my home planet. Just met human child Lenny, keeper of a cosmic secret. Awesome. Is this a star log for real? May I please? My pleasure. This is Lenny of Planet Earth speaking. My uncle had a secret stash hidden under a loose plank in room 3. Room 3? That happens to be my room. Room 3 used to be where my uncle Heinz lived. And where is your uncle now? My mom says he is now living on planet no good. really is a hidden stash below. Loads of useless junk and an almost empty bottle of schnapps. I'll only take the schnapps. Bolts and shoes. I need to know what happens next. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Tenhauser. I noticed something. Speak your mind. That door over there hasn't been opened in a while, has it? That's the door to the cellar, where my brother built his little lair. 
No one has taken any interest in that door since he left. He just took the key with him. Anything else I can do for you? Have you talked to the police yet? I gave the officer an outline of the crime. It's only going to be a matter of hours before someone will attend to the issue. What do you mean, a matter of hours? The police station is right next town, but as you know, that's quite the distance. We have to be patient. As soon as the inspector has solved his current case, he will start working on yours straight away. Keep me up to date. I will let you know if there are any new developments. About the cable car? Sure. What else do you want to know? I've heard enough. Thank you. Anything else I can do for you? I'll be leaving then. Make yourself at home, Mr. Tenhauser. By the way, the buffet is open. Please help yourself. I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. But I love cheese skewers. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. I've been wondering about that cable car. I don't want to think about the old cable car. This wobbling table is simply unbearable. It's driving me crazy. What's this? The table stopped wobbling? Oh, thank you so very much. I was hardly able to focus on anything else but this cursed wobblery. Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Are you feeling any better now that the table isn't wobbling anymore? Thank you for asking. But joy? What does it even mean? My life lost most of its joy since Klaus disappeared. Who is Klaus? Klaus is my tomcat, an angel of an animal. He was the only one to always remain by my side. But now he's vanished without a trace. Everything in this world is going down the drain. Mark my words. Were you whining too much over his loss? I don't know. Klaus was always faithful and stood by my side. Then he just disappeared without a trace. You can't rely on anything in this world anymore. Let me tell you. It's just awful. Could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Uh, don't bring up the old cable car. I don't even want to think about it. So what's with the cable car? I used to own the cable car. In fact, uh, the whole mine. Everything was taken away from me. Those maniacs destroyed everything. The cable car, the mine, uh, the whole village. Who are these maniacs you're referring to? The Millennium Cooperative, a multinational conglomerate of enterprises. Ruthless and unscrupulous. They leave us little family businesses with next to nothing. Please go on. More and more outsiders came to town. What they were actually up to in the mine, no one knows for certain. But after a few years of quick profits, they shut down the place and closed the cable car all together in one go. Just think of it. This was my life's work. 
They closed down the mines, drove away the people, and turned a once flourishing community into a ghost town. You ran a mining business? Well, but yes. I am the Baron von Zulz, entrepreneur and mining engineer in the third generation, district mayor of Trubebrook Zulz and Trubebrook Dussel, assistant secretary to the municipal council, patron of Trubebrook and the arts, well known beyond the borders of this country. What do you mean they destroyed everything? First, they stripped me of the mine. Then, more and more dubious eggheads and foreign workers started pouring into town, driving visitors away with the gigantic machines. These must have been difficult times for you. I appreciate your concern. Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car? The cable car, the cable car! What do you want with it? There's nothing worthwhile up there. Don't bother me with your mumbo-jumbo, will ya? My faithful cat Claus has abandoned me. That's all I can think of right now. You've got yourself a nice spot here. The name is Baron Otto Titan von Trüberbrüxels. Tannhauser, pleased to meet you. Please, come over. Don't waste the opportunity to put up with the company of a lonely, broken old man. What kind of a strange place is this? Well, you should know. This used to be one of the most beautiful spots on the face of the planet. The fair and the fortunate came here for treatment. Travelers and tourists of all fashion. Citizens that weren't occupied in the tourism business found work in the mines. But it's all over now. Do you have any friends or family? My spouse left me for good, and my beloved Trouba Brook is slowly going down the drain. Only Claus remained loyal to me all these years. Alas, now even he has disappeared. Are you from around these parts? You may very well say so. I put all my life's work into the well-being and prosperity of Trubabrook. I once was the owner of both, the mines and the cable car. That's all history now. Do you still have the key to the old cable car, by any chance? Please excuse me, but I need to be on my own now. I need some rest to mourn for Claus. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Please excuse me. I can't get close enough. I can't get close enough. That's some sturdy, full-grown reed. Nine lives or not, I don't think it would survive that drop. It 
soft as a feather. A beautiful, healthy tree. Arcosoidu platinus, the sycamore maple. You like this, don't you? Good morning. Excuse me, sir. Any news about Claus? Nothing. Please excuse me. Nowhere to run from here, kitty. Oh, I think he passed out. Now I've got you. <laughs> 